Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to a little bit of Injustice 2. I was thinking of what games I have that best represent the holiday spirit. And I thought it's probably the ones where superheroes beat the shit out of each other. So, we're playing some Injustice 2. This is gonna be kind of a Christmas special, but not really. I do have another uh, more special Christmas video planned, kind of like I did last year. And that's gonna be coming tomorrow. However, I thought, you know what? Evil Within is not really... I wasn't in the mood to play Evil Within. Uh, you know what? Injustice. Why not? So, this guy is 0-0 record, so he might be new. Uh, we'll see. Let's see who we're gonna play. You know what? Let's keep it classic. Let's go with Captain Cold. Captain Cold. This character is really bad, by the way. I'll just put that out there. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? So, in terms of being it, it being the holidays, hope everyone is having a nice Christmas slash whatever you're celebrating. I'm gonna, again, I'll have a special video planned for tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna be uploading on the 26th because I'm going away for, with family. Okay. This guy's an interesting way of playing Joker. Okay, let me just... Just gather myself here. So, like, Captain Cold obviously is not very good at this point. Uh, I think we pretty much established that. However, he still does have some stuff. He has good. Oh shit, what the hell? Again, this guy is an interesting Joker. I know that's not a true block string. Okay. Really, where Captain Cold struggles with real hard is opening you up. God damn, I cannot believe that was late. Like, this character had trouble opening you up before, but the... Uh, the what you call it... The Ice Ball really provided enough of a threat. However, the Ice Ball is now really difficult to charge up. So, you know, it's interesting. I don't I don't think this character has a lot of potential. I get what they were going for with they when they nerfed this character. God, I can't even talk. Fuck the parry. Um again, I know that they were what they were really trying to do is remove his um one touch kills. Because that's what th this character had one touch kills basically uh, in the corner if he had trait. And I get that they were trying to remove that. Shit, look at that. I don't know why this guy's not like actually using Joker's wake up. Finally. So, this is what I'm talking about. This is why this character is bad. We've been playing for pretty much the whole match, and I've not managed to open this guy up until then. Oh, nice tech. Um. And that's really the problem with Captain Cold as of now. Combine that with the fact that the ice uh, sphere, I think it's called the snow globe, is incredibly difficult to charge up, you know. It's just, it's it's not good. It's not looking good for this character. There is probably still going to be some matchups where he's worth picking, but I don't know. Especially now that the Atom is out, and the Atom seems to kind of fulfill the same, not the same, but similar character arcs, you know, what the hell. In that he's like tricky, kind of setup based, has ground traps and all that. I don't know. This guy's actually okay. This is gonna be some slow ass matches. I cannot believe he low profiles that. Yeah, the re- oh shit, that joker jump too. That's, that jump too is fucked. Um, screwed up my combo like an idiot. I've not played this character in a while because I pretty much swapped him for Adam. Ouch. So yeah, expect some slow games. Um, both of these characters are kind of 
footsie base and all that. But see, this is the thing, like... I struggle with this character, Captain Cold. So in terms of what I was talking before, before we started the game, and I was concentrating on something else. In terms of the holidays, so we'll have some special videos. God, the jump. Um... Now this guy at least knows the combos. He deals a lot of damage. Twenty-six. I'm probably not gonna record. And between uh, Christmas and New Year, I'm gonna be making some end of the year lists. Fuck. Okay. Mainly, I have two planned. Uh, one is goddamn it. One is, and I'm gonna, I don't know, spoil it, but one is gonna be, obviously, best games of 2017, my favorites, and the other one is gonna be most disappointing, which I have a few picked out, because there were a few, unfortunately, as much as I, ugh, god damn it, that, that's slow, the problem with that EX gunshot is it's really slow, things are not looking good. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm gonna... S fucking hell, why does it last so long? Uh, I have no qualms about switching to Superman or something because this is, this is painful. Um, or Deadshot, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this is painful. Uh, we're gonna switch. Th that's the thing about this character. He's so boring now. Uh, he at least used to be semi-interesting. You know, you were always charging. Snow globe. All that. He's just a bore. Oh, yeah. Look what I got. Gotta shout out this. Shout out the Bizarro. Uh, I wanted this skin for a long time, but I didn't want to actually drop money. Because, let me tell you, the business model for this... If there's one serious criticism I have of this game, it's the business model. Jump or down to to start. Uh, you know, the, just the fact that I've... At this point, I, I got the Ultimate Edition. I dropped $100 on this game. And there's, like, still a ton I could spend on Premiere skins and shaders and all that. Yeah. It's kind of... It's everything that people criticized a lot of games in 2017 for. Uh, and this game basically does it all. Again, it's like... If I had one serious criticism of this game, it would be that. It's the sort of scummy business model. And I know people say it's just cosmetic. Yeah, it's just cosmetic, but still. I almost had to pick up. Shit. So yeah, but they were pretty generous recently. And they were handing out a bunch of... A um, bunch of what the hell? A bunch of dough. Um, what, what is it called? Source crystals. Kind of as a year-end reward, and I had enough to purchase one Premier skin. I got Bizarro, because I wanted Bizarro. Because, I mean, look at him. As you can see, the difference between <laughs> this character and Captain Cold is significant. Superman is really good. I, I still can't believe that there are people who downplay Superman. It's kind of... Yeah, yeah. People who say that Superman is not good are lying. Because he is really, really good. He's probably always gonna be good. He was good in Injustice 1. Pretty much all through the patches of this game, he has been good. There's just like... Begin. The core of how he works is always gonna be good. I think, really, to nerf him, they would really have to kind of... Oops. Screw with how his fundamental gameplay works. I screwed up my combo. I didn't think that was gonna hit. And I don't think they're gonna do that because just like Batman, he's the staple for the game, so you can't like screw with this character too much. But yeah, look at I mean look at look at did you see how much damage that dealt on block? And I'm like I'm screwing up too. I'm dropping a lot of combos, but this character is just Insane. Not saying he's not fun. 
There we go, that's what I wanted before. Whoa, oh yeah. The weird thing about Joker's wake up is it hits towards his back too. It's kind of an interesting wake up option, to be honest with you. You can, I've seen some weird combos you can do with it too. I fucking love Bizarro. Why? Why wasn't he the villain for uh, Batman v Superman? It would have been so much better. There's a great YouTube video about that, how you could pretty much fix most of the problems with Batman v Superman if you didn't have Doomsday as a villain and you instead had Bizarro and it made complete sense to me. You know, just the idea of you have, uh, what's his name, Zod's body and Lex Luthor can make a well, Bizarro out of it. Because Bizarro was always kind of... In, now he's a flawed clone of Superman and that would be kind of stupid for the movie but you could explain it by you know Lex is experimenting on Zod he makes Bizarro it's a really good video you should go check it out um, I don't remember what exactly it's called but I think if you pre pretty much put into YouTube the uh, like Justice or Batman v Superman Bizarro you'll probably get it don't stop watching this video though for that um, Watch it after, because it's cool. Yeah, that movie... I only recently saw that movie, and I was like, eh. I actually enjoyed Man of Steel, to be honest with you. I mean, if you look at Man of Steel on, like, Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic and all that, I think on Rotten Tomatoes, it sits at, like, a perfect 50. Like, oh, shit. I was going to go into player matches, I just screwed up. So, like... Exactly 50% liked it and 50% disliked it. And I was in the half that liked it. I actually thought Man of Steel was good. Batman v Superman, uh, it's kind of... Uh, yeah, no. I, I wasn't a big fan of that movie. Also, I, what I gotta talk about someday is the newest Star Wars. I just don't want to spoil it right here. Maybe I'll make it into a separate video. So I don't want to talk about the newest Star Wars just in a video like this because... If you haven't seen it, I don't want to, like, spoil it. It was... Let's just say I had mixed feelings on that movie. I'll say that much. But I actually thought that, you know, the new Justice League movie wasn't the worst. I thought it was better than Batman v Superman. It still had massive problems. Like, it's such a flawed movie. And it's weird because it... They seem to run into the exact same problems that I find lacking in Marvel movies, too. It's just the villains. The villains are absolutely terrible. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, pretty much the only compelling Marvel villain that I can think of is Kilgrave from Jessica Jones. Just They don't know how to make good villains, and it's kind of a shame. Because a good villain is key to a story. I mean, hell, this game, the story of this game has a great DC villain, Superman. It's actually genius because Superman is one of the biggest threats when you think about it. Who should we play? Uh, yeah, Black Manta, we'll go. Black Manta. Goddamn, this guy has a lot of level 20 characters. Is Swamp Thing? Ah, Swamp Thing would have been interesting. Holy fuck, this guy plays a lot. And Bane. I have, I think I have like four level 20 characters. Dr. Fade, this might be a problem. That's a cool looking helmet. That's a cool looking Fade in general. I don't know. I'm kind of proud of this Black Manta too. Only thing I don't like about Manta are his shaders. I mean, you gotta keep it the original black and red. That's the classic Manta. Okay. This guy. See, this is the thing. Manta is... Pretty decent against the zoners. 
and Fate is a zoner through and through. God, that's such a powerful tool. Oh shit. Nice mix up. Whoa, oh, I did not actually know you can do that. Why did I try? I know I just tried anti-airing fate. Um, what you call it? Jump three, which is never gonna work. This should be it. Yeah. Okay. This guy's an interesting fate. I like it. Very offensive. God, I'm, I'm being stupid. I'm getting so preemptive with those. I, I'm not playing my best. To be honest with you, I will say that, that I've had... Not a lot, but... I had a decent amount to drink today, so I don't know how much that's affecting me and my Injustice 2 play. Nice. I tried playing Street Fighter before this. I, that's what I wanted, but yeah, that didn't work out. Nice. Okay, GG. This I like this guy's fate. I like his fate. Black Manta wins. God, this this character is so sick. He is he is legit my favorite character in the game, Black Manta. So cool. And this is the thing I didn't even know that much about Black Manta before Begin. this game. But he, he is cool. I do like me some Manta. Nice. Cannot believe I still don't have my meter charged up. Okay. Funny, I legit think that... Damn. That just like straight up left me there. That is an interactable you can throw. And it's actually a decent one. Whoa. Okay. That is sick. I did not know that you can do that. Uh, I'll have to test it out if that's for every character or just ones with really good dashes. Because Fate has a decent dash. I would say. Shit. I'm getting zoned out. I'm afraid for... That is sick. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted to do all throughout the match, but it's not been working. To be fair, if, you, if you've not fought a good fate, it's super frustrating. God damn it. What? Okay, that was an interesting interaction. Okay, yeah, this is... Man, I was playing like an asshole that game. Super frustrating character, by the way. Uh, Fate is sick, but yeah, he's... I feel like people really don't talk about this character. Like, have you seen his zoning? Have you, like, seen it? It's kind of ridiculous. One game I would like to get the first hit. The jump three. What? Did he just stuff my... Okay, there we go. Go, just not let him out of this. The problem with him is that... If you get hit by the projectile... Fuck. Corner combos. I swear I know them. Alright, the problem is if he hits you with a projectile, he's like dead shot. He guarantees himself another projectile. That jump three is insane. Okay, chipped. Okay. 
Okay, that see this is oh fuck. Gotta last ten more minutes. That should be okay. Is that a punish? I should have broke that. Oh well. That wake up is so... God damn it. You cannot jump. Why am I trying to jump? I really am playing like an asshole. Oh wait, I have the dual shock cable right here. One second. Alright, there we go. Much better. I'll play one more with this guy. Man, I did not... I thought Black Manta would be better against Fate. Although, again, to be fair... I am not on top of my game. God, that recovers so quickly. Okay. I would say this guy is pretty good with fate. Okay, that's... Did he just activate? What the hell was? Did you see him glow red for a second? Oh, he had it activated. No, but then it would be on the cooldown. I gotta check what the hell that was. That was crazy. That was an input error for me. That move is crazy, by the way. God, I cannot believe I'm dropping these. Oh man, I'm so pissed. I am sucking. Hmm. There we go. I haven't got a terrible life deficit. What? Yeah, don't try jumping on me. Apparently that's safe. I saw F Sonic Fox. I almost said Sonic Socks. Play Black Manta. What the... What is the input for that? Nice, unclashable. Fuck. Oh man. Well, we're not... I'm not on top of my game. But again, I saw Sonic Fox play and he was doing that constantly, that move. Or that string, more like. Alright, I gotta play someone else, because this is not this is not working out. Who should we play? You know what? I haven't played this guy in a while. No, shit. Man, I've never seen this many, like, high level... Oh, fuck. This is my most hated character to fight against. Dark side? Man. If it was up to me, Darkseid would be booted from this game. I'm only kidding, of course, but yeah. Not a fan. So yeah, with that shot, because he's less good, basically, you gotta be like, constantly... 50-50 Only problem is shit if someone knows how to block those 50-50s This is the thing like if you have a character with better walk speed you can actually walk out of the uh, Kind of the impact area of the float like, see that, but it's easier to do with characters who have better walk speeds. Oh shit. It's a, we it's a weird normal. That's safe. No oh no, no, but didn't they make that more unsafe? I think they did. Ugh, fucking all the damage. 
This character is insane. Okay. Oh, shit. Ah, I tried meter, bo meter burn rolling. I can't even talk. Stop him from summoning the minion. Shit. Fuck, it's so difficult to like do anything about this character. <laughs> Injustice 2, ladies and gentlemen. Chip. Chip. No, 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 that's not gonna chip him. Okay, be careful. Okay, I actually managed to get a game with post patch that shot. Although, that's how it went with Black Manta 2. Uh, I got one game, and then I proceeded to get my ass kicked. I think we have time for a couple more. So yeah, he's not terrible. I wouldn't say Deadshot is awful, but he's not good either. Oh. Is, he, is this dude AF? Okay, no, I was like worried for a second. Worst thing is getting an AFK opponent because I always feel like a dick when I kill them. But then again, if you're playing a fighting game, don't leave your PS4. Don't leave it unattended. But see, this is the thing, like, if you walk backwards... Ah, oh, damn, armor break. It's what, he has one of the slower uh, forward threes. Is that not a punish? That can't be safe, can it? Alright. Kicking ass with this dead shot. Um, oh, fuck. I legit thought I was gonna throw it, but then I forgot. Or I remembered that this is not a power character, obviously. This is the thing, like, you gotta explode with Dark Side, is that his neutral sucks. Like his strings and all that, they are really bad. So if you can exploit that... You're in the home stretch. See again, like, people who say Deadshot is, well, dead... ...are probably lying. Uh, this character still has quite a bit of potential. Obviously he's not amazing. In fact, I would say he's pretty piss poor, but it's possible to win with any character in this game. No character is unplayable. Are there characters that will probably give you a harder time? Of course, but people will say that this game is like that unbalanced that any character is really truly dead after nerves are probably lying. Even Captain Cold, you saw that it's possible to win with Captain Cold. Now, is it difficult? Sure, but, you know. Now, this is where I get my ass kicked, right? Is it difficult? Again, yeah, sure, but not impossible. This is what I hate. Air moves in this game have, like, absolutely no recovery. Fuck. Funny thing about Dark Side is... His down one is his best tool by far. Screwed up my combo. I was too much in the 50-50 mindset. Yeah, that's... He has a little bit of... Not recovery, but lag time. Shit, yeah. You, that covers so many options. Oh, nice. Why am I... I'm pretty much dead on arrival here, I think. I screwed up by going for the acid bullet. 
Yeah, he's pen the bar. I am a mixed machine. See, that's the thing. Like, and this is not with just not just with dark side. Uh, if you do a move in the air, like a projectile and everything, and you land, there is no recovery. There is like zero, nada, and it's really weird. I kind of dislike it. Same thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, not because that guy wasn't fun to fight, but I think it's time to wrap up the episode. The same thing makes like Black Adam's uh, dive kick and Supergirl's uh, wake up so difficult to punish in that any move that lands almost has no recovery. So it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing. You just have to get used to it with this game. It's just a little bit jarring coming from Street Fighter V. But this has been fun. Kind of a mess of an episode. Again, this is sort of a Christmas special, but this is not the only thing because there's gonna be there's gonna be more um, tomorrow. And then end of the year list. I'm getting Neo, so Neo is gonna be starting. And yeah, we'll just have a grand old time on this channel. Wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.